if you hate ai this video is not for you because this set of videos that i'm posting all through this period they are going to be more of what ai can do we all know that photoshop has a lot of ai features that help our workflow but the thing is if you want to look at it we know that ai has been there ever since but right now is the era where we hear ai over and over i have an image on my screen and i want to edit this image in less than 30 seconds i will not need a wacom tab i will not need anything to edit this image nothing nothing just my mouse yes that's what i want to do for this image these are sets of images i shot basically for these videos I shot them so I will not be looking for images to make videos with. So this is one of those images I shot because of these videos. So I might be using them over and over, but I'll be showing you different things that you need to learn. So, like I said, I want to retouch this picture in less than 30 seconds. As you can see, our skin is very rough. Our skin is looking rough. Even though the skin is looking rough, I'm not going to remove blemishes. Please, if you want to look, if you want to learn how to remove blemishes very, very easy without using your Wacom tablet to be touching everything one after the other, I have a video in my channel that will teach you how to do it. There are plugins that you can use to do it instead of always clicking and just looking for um, the blemishes to remove one after the other. Let me remove my, reduce my brush. You just click these are we normally we normally remove blemishes from our pictures we just remove so that takes a lot of our time that will make us waste a lot of time trying to make an image look good so in this video we are going to stop all of that we are just going to do one click and solve our problem so i'm going to duplicate our image like i said you are seeing my laptop you're seeing my table i don't have anything that looks like a wacom tablet to help the work process so i am going to come to filter then come to reblom this is the name of the software called reblom It's an ai software It's not a web-based software it's a software you can use without going to the net and as time goes i'll be showing you a lot of features about this software so let's click on reblom so it's going to take just a short time to load and when it loads this is the interface you're seeing there is no other thing you want to learn this is the just everything you need to see while it's loading i am going to show you some things you need to know if it finished processing the image and you feel like the texture that is there is not enough you want more texture so you have to bring down the texture once you bring the texture down there are a lot of things you see like all these things you're seeing here once you take it up they start going up gradually but once you bring it down it stays while the image is being fixed so let's keep this up let's keep this up and um, let's we are using the natural what natural will do for you is just to remove the imperfections from your skin and keep your skin everything to look normal just removing the imperfections yes just removing the imperfections from your skin and leaving everything so let's click on okay once you click on that let's see our before and our after so we just hold down alt click sorry hold down alt and click below it's too zoomed in hold down alt again and click the background layout so you see that it did not do much but it's fixed a lot in the image it has helped us remove all the blemishes from the image and do, it has done few of the fixing so the next thing we want to do is to duplicate again take this to the top because we want to see the difference between the two different presets that the software has so the next thing we want to do is just come to reblom again then this time we are going to use fashion fashion is more aggressive compared to when you're using the natural 
fashion is more aggressive it touched the is going to touch the image more than what the natural will do so let's zoom in again it's still on natural let's take it to fashion let's see what fashion will do for the same image so let's say okay it has finished running let's say okay so we can now see the difference this is fashion let's name this fashion let's name this natural so this is natural this is fashion this is natural this is fashion i don't know if you're seeing it very very clear please sometimes for you to see the higher resolution of any image you're working on is for you to um for you to see it in high resolution that high resolution the resolution will be around 1080 so when you enter your youtube let's go to youtube let's go to youtube when you enter your youtube and you want to watch any video make sure you're watching the video at 1080p sorry what did i just do make sure you're watching at 1080p so that you'll be seeing the full resolution of what you want to see so let's click on any video and uh, mute the audio once you enter youtube like this you want to come to this button here click on it make sure you're not you're not watching at 10 uh, 720 make sure you're watching at 1080 1080 will help you see the video clearer i know some videos don't have 1080 but if the video has 1080 to help you see the details in the video so that you are not just watching the video and not understanding what the person is working on hope that was helpful so we'll leave there we'll go back to photoshop so you see your before and your after so let's just close this let's see this and the background your before and your after your before and your after so if you like it natural you just have your before and your after the reason why you really need to get this is because there are a lot of clients out there who don't like you touching their face too much this would help you do the magic and also if you want to learn how to make action so that this particular thing you don't have to come pressing all the time you can just click one action and it will do this for you there are uh, there is an action video i just did i did a video about actions that you can use for this so i want to show you how you can work on multiple image at the same time let's go to let's go to shush sorry i'm using this folder so we have to first of all go and type reblom it will load up it will load up as a standalone software so that i can use it for a lot of images let me go and look for okay no 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 let me just speak about these images here these are images i shot in church today sorry let's click on it bring this up and uh, drag it in so once you drag it in it's going to start processing the images even if you drag 1000 images in here it's going to start processing them and do this whole thing for you that is if you're covering events so you can edit your event pictures every single event pictures in less than let me just say it and in less than an hour the retouch about 2000 pictures so this guy it will be if you're retouching it for natural if you're doing fashion to now run for fashion so you can now do your other settings like um you can save as jpeg so once it's done it will automatically just show you that it's done all you have to do is just uh, save it as jpeg so you can just create maybe a folder let's create a folder here call it jpg sorry Let's create a folder in picture. Sorry, let's go back to create a folder here. JPG. Open the folder. So it's going to save it to that folder once it's done. 